Kathy. It's time for a well-deserved break, Pittsburgh. From the KDKA TV studios, it's Pittsburgh Today Live. Hey, we made it to Friday, everybody. We sure did. Did you see I opened the door for you? It was so nice of you. Yeah, it's because yes. I've been having such a good time all week. And so I just wanted to say thank you for making the week well, spectacular. You are welcome. <laughs> I had so yeah. much fun. Yeah. yeah, we love it when you're able to join us. And Heather Abraham is actually working from home all week. In fact, we're going to check in her with her in just a little bit. Uh, but there is a lot going on. And, you know, we want to focus on the positive. And one of the, the big positive things came out from Pitt. They have developed a possible, possible mm -hmm. coronavirus vaccine, and they are hoping that the FDA can maybe fast track this because typically a vaccine would take 12 to 18 months. So we shall see, but it's exciting that it's happening it and it's, it's very interesting that it's happening right here in Pittsburgh. I know a lot of people are talking about it and, and I love to see Pittsburgh leading the way in this. So, right. I, you know, I'll be interested to see what happens. Absolutely, yeah, but, we're all oh, waiting for that. Yeah, but also something exci exciting. Did you see this? The PA National Guard is packing food at the Greater Pittsburgh Community Food Bank. 3,000 boxes filled with food. Now, the food bank says the need is more than double right now, and people are even donating dog food to area shelters. I was yeah. there a couple of weeks ago, and it's it's wonderful to see all of these volunteers just really helping out when uh, it's needed most. Well, it speaks yeah. to the, the need that uh, right now that people are facing, and Western Pennsylvania always comes through, so that's fantastic. Something else that we want to mention, uh, and this was just kind of cool, so some displays downtown, both the Fairmont Hotel in downtown and the Sheraton at Station Square, they lit up with these signs, these signals of hearts. They, mm -hmm. you know, have the windows lit up there to to put little hearts there. I mean, just a little sign of inspiration, I think, during all of this. Yeah, it just, it, it warms your heart. It warms <laughs> your heart, by. absolutely. I love it. And you know, a lot of businesses are closed right now. A lot of people hurting because the businesses are closed. Uh, hair salons are among the businesses that are closed. And this has led to something interesting. Yeah. Some people <laughs> having to do what they're not used to doing, and that is cut their own hair. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it goes well, other times maybe not so well. Yeah. So we have some pictures now that people have been sharing on social media, and we want to show you. So this guy tried to live stream his haircut. Um, uh, <laughs> I don't think he did such a good job. No. There's something missing there. I feel like there's like. Here's the thing though, Mikey, <laughs> hair grows back. Oh. So he's going to be okay. Yeah, yeah, but in the meantime, he probably shouldn't go on any dates, but I guess he will well, be. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. no, everyone's at home. Uh, all right, so so not are all they're they're not all bad here. No, this, this lady, impressive. yeah, this lady in Maine posted this on Instagram, and she's she says she's quite proud of how it came out, and I think she should be. It looks good. It looks fantastic. Mm -hmm. She may not have to go back That's to the right. hair salon. She's great. All right, and now we have some video that one woman named Laura Maynard posted, and this concerns me a little bit. Yeah. So this is Grandpa giving Grams a haircut. We think they're just all being right. silly, but are look, those we like? Those are like Yard. garden shears, I think. So I'm thinking grandma at this point should get up and go. I would <laughs> like run for the hills. But unless, unless he's already finished, and then I, I would say she looks pretty good. Yeah, well. Yeah. All right. So anyhow. <laughs> good job. Okay. Right. Now we want to check in with Heather okay. Abraham to see how mm -hmm. she's doing because she's had quite a week working from home. And uh, Heather, can you hear us? I can hear you. Good morning. Hey. Good morning. Hey. How's it going? How was your week? Well, uh, it was good. It was. It, there were some challenges, but I feel like most of the challenges were good, positive brain challenges that I enjoyed. Um, I woke up at eight nineteen this morning. Eight nineteen. Oh my gosh. That is that is unheard of for you. You should yeah. celebrate because that is just crazy. Yeah. I've never heard of Heather, Heather, Heather Abraham waking up that early. Like, I can't tell you the last time I slept that long. I mean, I feel like a new person. You That's should probably fantastic. go run around the block. I may. Yeah. <laughs> I don't okay. know what I'll do. We I have did. the Friday free for all because we love doing that and we want to include you. So we're going to get started with some questions from viewers. So Karen is asking, uh, she says to PTL, thanks for taking my mind off the off of the events going on right now for an hour, which is very nice of you to say, Karen. Do you have to run to get into your seats for the start of the show? And we do sometimes cut it close, Heather, don't we? 
We do, yeah. And I feel like there's always a lot of adjusting happening. Right. Well, what people <laughs> like, don't know is... Scoot this over here. I put, I can just put my microphone on under my, my coat. Mm -hmm. You put a microphone on under your dress. So it's a little yeah. trickier. Yeah, there's a it lot of <laughs> things that yeah. have to happen. Wait. <laughs> I love getting a glimpse into your life, it's Heather so Abraham. Fun. All right, next question is from Joe and Ahmed, and they say, we are originally from Pittsburgh, now living in Richmond, Virginia. We love watching the show. I guess they watch online, mm -hmm. and they're saying, Heather and David, what is your favorite spot in the city? What is your favorite spot? Well, I mean, we live in Mount Washington, and I know it's kind of a cliche, but I love the overlooks. I love being able to just soak in the city from above and kind of, I don't know, realize how small you are in this big picture, you know? I love, I, no, yeah, I, love I totally that. agree with that, whether it's a cliche or not. And the other thing that I love is, is the point. I love going down to the fountain and you know the the water's all around mm -hmm. and you look back in the city. I just think it's a great spot. Yeah, and even riding some of the the boats through the rivers like the Gateway Clipper and seeing the city yeah. from the vantage point of the of river. Of the river, right. Spectacular. It's spectacular. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much Heather. Thanks, Thanks for Heather. checking in with us. We appreciate okay. it. I'll see you Monday. Yeah, we're going to get to see you in person. Yay. This has been great via Skype. Here. And I love seeing Mikey or uh, Frankie in the background running around. <laughs> <laughs> well, Rocco got into a play tea set. So we're <laughs> <laughs> All right. She's having fun. She's always busy there, right? She, she is always busy there. Never a dull moment. All right, we have yet more questions. <laughs> and we're going to bring Ron and Selena into this yeah. uh, because we want to get them included in some of the questions that are coming in right now. All right, so Amber yeah. is asking, what has been your favorite part of social distancing and she said most things are so sad right now but her favorite part is teaching her kids how to cook yeah there are some things that come out of it that are kind of surprising Ron have you found that yeah you know I just think that I, I you know yesterday um, my uh, youngest wanted to jog with me so we jogged a little bit around the neighborhood um, just seeing some of the, the really cool things we've been working a lot on her tying her shoes and even just getting to teach them at home each and every day. Now you're, you know, daddy teacher uh, as soon as I get off work here and going through their classwork. So there are a lot of things that I, I think that uh, you're kind of enjoying. I got to do kind of the haircut yesterday, just on myself. My girl you did a good like, job, Ron. Good, Ron. Yeah. yeah. All I did was kind of, I, I mean, I just had kind of like this weirdness right here. And, so, I yeah. think it looks good. Yeah. All right, we have one for Selena. Uh, Susan says, my husband Alan wants to know if Selena is a better golfer than her father Bob. <laughs> Love you guys. Selena, time to tell us. Wow. <laughs> um, absolutely not. My dad is a fantastic golfer, <laughs> but he's been golfing his entire life. I'm still, well, I consider myself a beginner. I have a lot of work. I need to practice. But I'm enjoying learning how to golf. But no, I'm definitely not anywhere close to where my okay. dad is. Well, she has all the cute outfits, so it just makes it look like she, she knows okay. what she's doing. She's... <laughs> yeah. Selena, always you can count on for that. You sure can. All right, so Joyce is asking. She says she watches every day. When all of this is over, what's the first thing that you all are planning on doing? For me, I, I just want to do everything in one day. I want to go to the movies. I want to meet with my friends. I want to mm -hmm. hug everybody. Anything I can do. Just in one day, I'm going to do it all. I miss the physical contact. Yeah. I miss like being able to hug people and see them in person. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, and I want to go on vacation. <laughs> I just, Ron, what about you? What do you want to do? Well, you know, it's funny that you say that because I had vacation built in next week for spring break, and you can't go anywhere. In fact, uh, my oldest yesterday said, "Dad, what are we doing today?" And I, I kind of threw up my hands and I said. Your choice, right here in the house. So there's just not much to do, but uh, you know, you, you do the little things. You read, you do board games, uh, you make the most of it. So make the most of it. I like yeah. that, yeah. Ron. All right, we have a question for Selena here. So, she, well, first off, Danny says you are my new live in Regis with, Ka with Regis and Kathy Lee. We love that. Yeah. What a great comparison. <laughs> what is the most embarrassing moment you've ever had on the show, Selena? Let's start with you. Have you had it? You never have an embarrassing moment. You're so graceful on TV. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, David, I've had so many. I don't know if this is okay to say, but I'm going to say it anyway. Oh, um, it was actually doing, it was doing traffic two years ago. I'll never forget this. Poor Rick and Heather. I left them hanging. I had one more hit to go, and I 
didn't even realize it because I had to go to the bathroom so terribly. <laughs> I run to the bathroom. I have my mic on oh, and no. my IFB, oh. so I can hear that they are coming back to me after the break to traffic. <laughs> and I am I'm sitting on the toilet, and Rick and Heather are trying to cover for me. It was terrible. <laughs> But it's funny okay, now. Okay, well, no, that's, that's good. That's yeah. good. You know, I remember doing a live show once. It was not on Pittsburgh Today Live, mm -hmm. but I was live on the south side. And I, you know, you complete your report. You're just trying to get all the information yeah. out. And then I have no idea where I was live. Like totally. I do, I'm David Eiffel reporting where live from. I? You're like. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I was on a farm once. I was doing a live hit on a farm once, and it was like this big finale of where I was supposed to drive off in this tractor. Well, Mm -hmm. The tractor wouldn't start. Do you remember that? Oh, I do <laughs> yeah. remember that. So yeah. I'm trying yeah. to gear it up and get it to start, and <laughs> and it, you're it, going it, nowhere. And I think Selena and uh, you were hosting, and you were just cracking up back in the we studio. Probably were. Ron, have you ever had an embarrassing moment on TV? On TV, yes. Here on PTL, I have not. So uh, when the movie Dodgeball came out, uh, mm -hmm. I got caught on live air talking about me and how my friends used to play a, a version of dodgeball. We called it Buns Up. So um, I'll just leave it at that. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay. Wait, I want to know more. <laughs> okay. That All may right. be a commercial break topic. Yeah. I'm not sure. All, All right. right. Tammy is asking, she noticed a while ago that Ron has lost a lot of weight, and she wants to know, Ron, what your secret is. Uh, well, first off, I have to say no to a lot of the food that comes through here. So that's <laughs> is a, a, that the secret? <laughs> that's a big part of the secret right there. Just knowing what you're eating each and every day, I think, uh, does a really goes a long way into helping uh, in any type of weight loss. Yeah. All right, Sharon is asking, what's the first thing you do when you go home from work? Mikey? Oh. What's the first thing I, you do? I wash my hands. <laughs> I wash yeah, my well, hands. That's true. Nowadays, I just sanitize yeah. everything. I sit down on the on this like the couch and just I just breathe and I take a a, a, a breath and reflect on the day and then yeah. do whatever I have to do that evening. But I, I really do take time to just sit down and chill for a second. Take a yeah. Breath, yeah. One breath. Yeah. yeah. I, I immediately get out of my work clothes because okay. I want I want work to be over with. Yeah. Selena, yeah. what about you? What do you do as soon as you get home? You probably yeah. take a nap. I do the same thing, David. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely do take a nap. Mm -hmm. Usually my shift starts at 3.30 in the morning, so when I get home by lunchtime, I usually take a nap, and then I also get to a workout class. I try to, at least, on most days. <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. I'm All inspired, right. Selena. We kind of look like the Brady Bunch here. We do. Like the... I know. Wait, I look down <laughs> yeah. on... Wait, I'll look over... <laughs> uh, just... It's not. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This was oh, yeah, a lot of fun. Right. Thank you, Ron and Selena, for joining us for, for the questions. And Bye, thank Selena. you for sending <laughs> in the questions. Seen you forever. <laughs> <laughs> Virtual hug. How are yeah. you? Virtual, Virtual hug. hug. We miss you. <laughs> we appreciate it so much. And we appreciate you sending in the questions, too. Yeah. All right. Quickly, we want to share all this week, you have been sharing your mug shots with us. Mm -hmm. And so we have several that we want to show today because these are mugs that are funny, that maybe you use every morning. And oh, so many of us are at home now in the morning. So much fun. All so right. the first one is from Donna. Mm -hmm. She says she got this from her son. He's now 22, but he got it for her when he was in preschool and it had a plant in it. She says, this means the world to me. And she says, I want my baby boy back. Aww. Isn't that sweet? Yeah, so sentimental. Okay, this one is from Marie Angela. Her husband and her, they love to play Scrabble. Oh, and she okay. says they've been playing a lot lately. There you go. Yeah. All right, this next one is from Janet. Uh, this was a gift. She loves Scooby Doo. So <laughs> There's the explanation for that. We love it, Janet. I love it. All right. And from Ted and Elaine, Ted's favorite is from Colonial Williamsburg. And then Elaine has a festive Christmas one, and she says she uses it for hot chocolate. Sounds so good. I, yeah, I'm not yeah. a big coffee drinker, but hot chocolate? Oh, get on board with, with that. the marshmallows and add all that yeah, good stuff. Anytime. Yeah. All right. Well, it is time for us to take a break because there's so much more coming up this hour, including cooking with Mikey. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it's, uh, it's my turn in our PTL series, Cooking with the Crew. I'll show you how to make a dish that's easy and budget friendly. And, yeah, I hear it's delicious. Yep. And we're getting answers to questions about being at home with kids. Some families are starting to feel the stress at this point. Parenting expert Dr. G tells us what to look for and how to cope. Plus, a true stress reliever, a visit with Penguin, our PTL puppy. We check in with Penguin at home later this hour. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah. Thank you for being with us here on PTL. On this Friday, April 3rd, 2020, we are so grateful that you are joining us.